All right, non-resident train course equipment, basic operator, Navy Tra, um, 14081, Chapter 12, page 3, 332. All right, your clamshell operation. Clamshell bucket is in, uh, is a bucket operating, let me see this, okay. Okay, uh, yeah, we're at 332. Are your clamshell operation? Clamshell bucket is attachment you with a crane with a vertical digging below ground um, b below ground level for the placement of material considerable height and depth of distance. You can also move for mo bolt, moving bolt material, stockpiles, plant bins, loading hoppers, conveyors. It can be used to dig loose and medium comp compact soil. Clamshell operations are as follows. Position level of the crane ensure the digging operation is closed. The radius as dumping operation prevents you from having booming up and down, resulting in loss of production. So the, select the correct size and type of the bucket for the crane. Um, when lowering clamshell bucket, if too much pressure is applied with the closing line break, the bucket will close. The excessive amount of wire will open on wind, holding the hoist drum. To avoid this, you should release the hold line closing line break simultaneously when lowering an open shell. Clam shell and material with the initial bite. Engage the clothesline and the co um, control lever to the bucket. Control the digging depth and using hold line and control lever bucket. If, if the, during the hoist, the hoist line goes up, gets ahead of the closing line, the bu bucket will open and spill material. This could cause the, um, this is also caused by having too much wire rope on the hoist drum. The operator must hoist the but on um, both rising and holding lines at the same speed to keep the bucket from opening or spilling material. When clamshell bucket is raised enough to clear all obstacles, start swinging by engaging swing the control lever. Hoisting the bucket can be performed as a swinging onto the dump site. Spring loaded tag will retard the twisting motion of the bucket and swing is performed smoothly. Dumping and unloading the clamshell performed with keeping the holding lines break applied with the closing lake line break or release apply the closing line break as uh, quickly after load is dumped and prevent closing from unwinding more rope wire rope. And that is, then is needed for the dump material. After the bucket's empty, swing open the clamshell back to the digging side, then lo lower the open bucket and repeat the cycle. The clamshell open has four steps, filling the closing of the bucket, raising the loading bucket, swinging and dumping. The boom angle of the clamshell be between 40 and 60 degrees. Careful, um, Be careful when working with higher boom angles as the bucket will hit the boom and the clamshell attachment, not a positive digging tool. The height reach of the clamshell depends on the length of the boom used. The depth reach of the clamshell limited to the length of the wire rope for the hoist of the drum can be low, the handled and for safe lifting capacity for the clamshell refer to the operator's manual for the crane's capacity and load chart. All right, your drag line. Drag line is versatile attachment capable of the wide range operation of the below ground level. The drag line can dig um, through the um, through loose and medium compact soil. The biggest advantage of the drag overline machine is the long reach with both digging and dumping and avoids avoid another advantage is high cycle speed. The drag line does not have the positive digging force over the back of the bucket is not weighed and held in alignment by a rigid structure, therefore it can bounce, tip over, drift sideways when digging through hard materials. This weakness increases the digging depth. Um, drag line operations are as follows. Keep the tape sharp for the drag line bucket. Build up um, proper size. Keep the dump rope short and so the load can be picked up at the proper distance from the crane. Excavate the working area in layers, not in trenches. Slope upward toward the crane. Do not drag the bucket in so close that the crane that builds up the pile ridges, um, ridges and ridges of the material in front of the crane. Five, do not guide the bucket swinging the crane with the digging with the part um, put to the unnecessary side stress on the boom that starts swinging only after the bucket has been raised or clear the ground. A pair of drag chains is attached to the front of the bucket and through bad brackets um, by which the pull point with adjust up and down the upper position you for the deep and the hard digging it is pulls the teeth into the steeper angle. Seven, a drag cable can be reversed for um, end of the fore end of the prolong with the wire ro lo rope. Reduce the earlier wire rope replacement. Keep the wire rope cost down. Remember the drag line ca um, cable should be non lubricated. When lowering the drag line bucket into the area to be worked with, relief the drag back and break to tip of the cutting edge and, and relief the hoist break. We do not have to dump the bucket and drop the bucket to force the teeth into the material. The bucket will be um, filled into um, drag toward the crane, engaging the drag control lever. The cutting of the depth is controlled by the releasing tension from the hoist to the break. The drag line is not positive. Digging tool nine. The drag line cycle is filling the bucket, lifting the bucket, swinging the loading bucket, and dumping the load. Since the drag 
line is not it's rigidly attached. It will not dump materials as accurately as other excavators. When loading, dump into the hull unit with the hopper. Hopper, you may need to time position the bucket for um, dumping it. No, when you're dumping the hull unit, never load over the cab. Additional, make sure the operator is out of the cab. Clear line, drag line, and clamshell bucket. 11. The boom angle of the drag line uh, should be normally 25 to 30 degrees. degrees. However, the crane load chart to ensure the load boom angle does not exceed capacity for the crane and relatively low boom angle. You must carefully um, you must be careful when excavating dump wet, sticky materials because of the chance of tipping the crane increases because of the material tends to hang in the bucket. All right, drag line employment. The drag line can be even dredging when the material hand handled is wet and sticky and dig, dig, tre dig trenches. The strip over overburning clear and dig roadside ditches and slope embankments when the drag line is handled with the mud. And most, it is the most particular attachment reached for the enable to handle the wider excavation while sitting on one position. Sliding action for the bulk eliminates trouble with the suction. Other use of the drag line include the following. Inline approach to excavating trench with the drag line. Ensure the drag line carrier of the unit with the center of the excavation 1248 with the drag line. Cuts and digs in front of the dumps on either side of the excavation. The crane moves away from the face of the work progress. Two parallel approach. The drag line can be sloped with embankment um, by, better by working it from bottom to the top. The crane is in position with the top of the carrier parallel of the working face so it can move with the full length of the job without excavating excavate. See excessive turning. Drainage drain line is out of the earthwork materials and have to be removed with the trench canal, gravel pit, so forth, containing water. Plan to work between begins the lowest grade point. Some of the so drainage provided drain line process uh, progress towards higher levels. No digging underwater and wet materials increases the wave of the material frequent preventing carrying heavy heaped low bulkhead loads. This excavation, ditching es the excavation through swamps and soft terrain is common under the condition of the excavated materials normally cast off the levee and spoils bank. For unloading haul loaded hauling units, you the job requires excavated material to be loaded within the hauling units. The excavation should be open so the loaded hauling equipment can travel to high dry ground and better the grade. The spotting truck with the drag line should be planned with a minimum bolt swing of the, the truck bed under the boom bottom boom point. Long axis for the bed pair with a long axis for the boom at the right angles to the boom. The spillage is to be expected for the drag line from the front end loader. All right, either drag effective, efficient drag line operation. Other than, other than use of the drag operation, include the following. Although the drag line bucket can be readily cast between beyond the length of the boom, the machine should be positioned to eliminate ca case casting. Use heavy tamer mat that works on the soft ground. The mat should be kept level and clean. When setting up the drag operations, you should have excessive maintenance and operation personal hauling. Four, let's create the work area in layers. Nine trenches. Keep the slope upward and toward the crane. Five, do not drag the bucket so close to the crane that it builds piles and ridges of materials in front of the crane. All right, figure 1248 shows the line approach. Um, hoist line, drag wire rope, drag wire rope, and cuts one, two, three, four, and five. Um, and six. Six um, salvage pe um, pieces of the hoist wire use the dump rope. Um, pile driving operation. Pile driving and the no Navy construction force is done with a crawler. Med track mounted crane is rigged with the pile driving attachment shown in figure 1249. Pile driving hammer is um, categorized as 360000 um, USN number registration. Note the combined weight of all the pile driving attachments to reduce the capacity of the crane. Additional crane capacity must be able to support the combined weight of all the pile driving attachments. All right, your leads. Pulley pile driving leads such as tracks along with a pile driving hammer runs a guide for the operation stay with the pile driving operation. The leads, leads come to 10, 15, and 20 foot sections bolted together with the various lengths shown in figure 1250. No, because of the vibrations created during the pile driving operation, you must check all that. All lead section boots with the tightness being each for the pile driving shift. The, the um, types of leading with the Navy construction swinging under hung Hung extended four way and spud leads. Articulable pile driving. Single man pile hose hook um, trigger line operator. Adjustable catwalk trigger line. Um, batter piles. Pile cap pile hammer. Leads um, leads ladders. Leads in the lead section. The hammer line sheave. The sheave head assembly pipe wire. Pipe pile wipe line sheave. Sliding boom tip connector two. Boom tip pin. Pile hammer wire rope. Pile hose wire rope. Um, figure 1250 shows the assemble of the 10 foot foot, um, foot sections. Um, lead guide sections the leader bolted together to make the leads desired strength of bolts. 
All right, swinging leads. Swinging leads are assembled the face down to the ground, bolted in the 15 foot, taped in section, selected by the intermediate section, single crane handling the pile driving hammer that's simple and slipped into the guide rails with the swinging leads. The leads are swung from the cable crane broom with the second um, second signal line from the crane over the lane. Um, leads spilled out with the ground pile location normally with the shabbing points attached for the bottom of the leads head. Plum or desired batter with a second single of the crane line. Short swings are often used to assist the driver. And sheet, ship, sheet, um, steel sheet pilings, figure 1251, show for the components of the swing lead, the boom drive, um, boom point sheet, they're used to accommodate the hoist drum with the wire room support with the pile driving hammer leads, these therefore are used for the required three drum crane. Under certain conditions, two drum cranes can be used, the leads are raised to the vertical combination of boom swinging or travel advantages. Some advantages using swing leads over the other types of leads are as follows, they are light, simplest, and least expensive, while with stabbing the point secure within the ground, these leads are for free to rotate sufficiently to align the pile, driving hammer with the pile without precise alignment with the crane while with the pile. Or because the leads are generally 15 to 20 foot shorter than a uh, boom, the crane can reach out farther or farther if, if the crane has sufficient capacity. They can also be drive piles in the whole ditch over at the edge of the excavation front lug, lug, lead and boom requirements, way of the leads in support of the ground, the piles lifting in the place with excess from the increasing war can load weight. Figure 12 you see one shows the swinging leads in the stabbing point section. Figure 1251, lead adapters connection to the boom tip, um, pile whip sleeve hammer line sheath, the adapters bolted till they lead, um, boom po 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 point pin, cotter pin, and boom line sheaves. Disadvantage, some of the disadvantages of swinging leads are as follows, it requires three hoist drum, the can a crane may line with the, for the pile, secondary pile driving hammer, and third for the leads, or two hoisting drum with a lead hung with a sling from the boom tip. Because of the leads are supported with the hoist wire, real precise positioning of the leads are with the top of the pile is difficult and slow. If stabbing are not secured with the ground, the difficult control with the, the twisting of the leads. No, the tagline went winder may be used to control the twisting of the leads because the leads are not rigid and more of the difficult in the position of the crane and setting up the pile driving under operations. All right, underhung leads. Underhung leads are composed with exactly the same in the section. Swinging leads, underhung leads are bolted together on the ground. Described swinging leading leads connected to the bottom of the tip of the each for the lead adapted figure 1252. Boot tip sheaves are accompanied with the piles. Piles driving the hammer along the unhung leads are of standard bolt hole on layout with the bolt bolting of the lead adapters to the lead. With the, however, the dimension of the boom tip and the adapter occur. We make the model with the crane. The after the adapters connect with the boom, the boom's ray with the bring and lead for the vertical position 1253. Long lead section may require use of the support equipment to raise the leads vertical in the position. You know, check the adapter bolts and tighten it for the beginning of each of the pile driving sh shift. The, um, all adapter piles, adapter plates are mounted with a boom butt with a crane crab on the bottom lead section with a con um, connection with the force aft the boom bra bottom brace common known as the catwalk. The catwalk can be extended and telescope various lengths. It can be set, uh, hold um, leads vertical with the driving bearing pair of piles and hold them in the angle of the driving better piles as you the on your helm as held by the boom and the fixed rays 1254. Or 1253 shows the underhung leads being raised by the boom. 1254 underhung leads. Advantage some of the advantages using underhung leads or other types of leads are as follows. They are lighter, generally less expensive, extend four way type lead of lead. They require two hoist drum crane. They provide accuracy with the position of leads in vertical four or aft and batter positions. They provide precise control leads during the position operation. They reduce rigging time to setting up the brake time. They use boom tip sheaves. Disadvantages. Some of the disadvantages of using underhung leads are as follows. Well. They cannot be used with a side to side batter driving. The length of the pile is limited with the boom length. As soon as the type of lead cannot be extended above the boom tip. When the long leads require use of the long boom length, the working radius of the result will the best um, be excessive for the capacity of the crane. They do not allow the use of the bat boom shorter than the lead. Extend four way leads. Extend four way leads use the same intermediate lead section swinging underhung leads in place of the 15 foot tapered section. Extended leads use the 30 foot section slide, um, 36 slide section with a sheave head assembly and a universal sliding boom tip connector sliped into the 30 foot section connecting the boom tip figure for 1255. Sliding boom tip connector swivels around the driving batter piles in all directions. The boom is lowered over the leads when connecting the boom sliding boom connector. The connector is both in the 30 foot lead section location dictated amount of the leads um, extension directed above the boot tip. Boom tip, no extension of the lead over the boom tip and the must not exceed third toll, um, toll of the lead of the length up to the 25 feet maximum. 
or 1255 shows sliding the boom tip connector, and then 1256 shows extended four way. 1257 shows the sheave head assembly. Shows the sheave head assembly. The boom um, raised with the um, raised leaf, the type of the catwalk, hydraulic mechanical, parallelogram, bottom brief, the type of the brace, all out for the high, fixed raised side side batter, swing of the link, parallelogram in the desired position. Parallelogram lies the pile driving L direction, bottom figure 1256, extend four way the um, lead. The boom sh- um, point sheaves are not even to accommodate um, the pile driving hammer and the pile with extended four way leads are equipped with a special sheave head assembly figure 1257 on two hoist drums, wire rope, receipt, reeve through the support with the pile driving hammers and piles of engines. Some of the bands with the extended four way leads are as files. One requires only two hoist drums to provide accuracy loading, locating leads in all batter position, provide rigid con- control of the leads during positive operation, allow for batter angles to be set accurately and maintain five that allows the youth of the short man- boom angle with increasing of the crane capacity. The boom and can be lowered and leads followed under the short hull of the over the road or uh, over a road while the crane when the crane is adequate capacity is used. The operation depends on the length of the lead boom and the configuration of the crane. Disadvantage some of the disadvantages using extend four way leads are as follows heavy this expense for the three basic leads and more troublesome air, uh, assembly. Figure 12 to shows spud clips mounted on one side of the pile driving um, hammer. The spud clips and the pile hammer. Our spud leads are the steel wire um, flange high H beam with plate for the pile driving ham leave the pile driving hammer reads um, rides the flange over the beam with the spud clips mounted on one side of the plate and pile driving hammer figure 1258. Depending on the design of the spud leave the spud can be used in swinging under hook and lead equipped with a sheet of the head assembly as extended with a four way lead advantage of the type of lead with the bearers of the whole bottom of the pile cap of the bailing piling especially with the sheet piling is being driven 12459. Our right, pile driving hammer, three principal types of the pile driving hammers are drop hammer, steam, pneumatic hammer, and diesel hammer. Drop hammer in a bulk um, metal hoisted with a specific height with a drop on the capacity on the bolt and button head of the pile. The drop hammers weigh about 1,200 to 3,000 pounds. Warning nose generator with the pile driving operation cause hearing loss. Hearing protection must be worn by personnel in the vicinity of the pile driving operations. 1259 shows sheet pile driving spuds and the sheet piles, the pile cl- um, cap, the spud clips, and the spud leads and pile um, hammer. The steam pneumatic hammer is um, basically replaced with a head drop hammer. The hammer is 1260, consider the cylinder contained with the steam driven, the air driven um, ram, the ram consider for the piston equipped with the striking head. The hammer is resting on the butt and the head with the pile driving. Shows um, 5,000 pound hammer, 6 foot 1 inch, um, 7,000 pound hammer, 8 foot 4 inches, 10,200 pound hammer, 13 foot. Okay, um, with a single action steam pneumatic hammer, the power drives it only with a lift over the arm downward blow that can resolve with the force of the gravity. Only double action hammer, the ram has both lifted the downward and power drive. The double action hammer weighs 5,000, 14,000 pounds. Single action hammer weighs 10,000 pounds. Or the boom, the blow for the double action hammer, lighter with the more rapidly than those in single hammer. The double action hammer generally drives lightly, average weight with the piles into solo average density. The rapid um, blows tend to keep the pile in motion, thereby reducing the resistance and inerrant friction. However, when you're driving heavy piles in the hard, dense soil, the resistance of the inerrant friction together with the rapid high velocity blows of the double action hammer tend to damage the butt and head of the pile. The single action hammer is the best driving heavy piles in hard, dense soil with a heavy ram stri- uh, striking a low velocity, allowing more energy to be transferred in the motion of the pile, thereby reducing impact of the damage of the butt or the head of the pile. Or your conventional pneumatic hammer requires 600 cubic feet of per compressor to operate with a diesel with self-contained with the use- until the compressed side of it delivers 43,000 foot-pounds of energy per blow. The diesel hammer is about twice as fast as the conventional pneumatic steam hammer is likely the side of the weight. Or the diesel hammer, the most common diesel hammer used in the Navy Construction Force is the DE-10 McNairn Terry Powell hammer shown in figure 1261. Um, the hammer is lifted and started with a single crane load line of the cable connected with the trip mechanism. A, the hammer is started with lifting of the ram position. B, load line of the unit is trip mechanism. C, the automatically ram position. The ram, the ram position falls to actuate cam fuel pump. D, the delivers a measured amount of diesel fuel that falls into the cup forward formed on the top of the anvil. Continue the down, D, E, continue with the down fall ram position black escort ports F and it begins with the compression air trap with the ram position and anvil the compression of the trapped air creates preloading force upon the anvil to drive cap in the pile with the gravity propelled ram position struck with the anvil delivering impact with the engine energy to the pile. The round end of it ram ram piston makes per must mates perfectly with the cup of the anvil to display the fuel 
All right, operating mechanism, principal McLaren, diesel type, power hammer, A, B, um, C, D, F, E, um, up and down, and then D and F and G. Precise moment of the impact with the perfect time of the fuel atom of the split flatter but into the angular ring shape of the zone between the ram and the anvil ignited by the heat of the compression. Resulting explosive force driven the ram ends upward with the pile driving the adds push of the pile examine the time of the total effort of the dry pile upon the strokes. Upstrokes so of the ram position opens the exhaust port from F that permits the scavenging exhaust gas to ram's um, condition continues freely upward until arrested with the gravity length of the strokes will vary for the resistant pile, the greater resistant, the longer stroke. Having reached the top of the stroke, the ram piston falls again, repeating the cycle of the hammer and stops and um, pulling pulling a rope G that disengages the fuel pump, um, pump, pump cam D. Trip mechanism. The trip mechanism, figure 1262, is an off-center linkage mechanism located on the rear of the hammer to design lift and drop the ram over the end um, for starting additional trip mechanism lift and lowers the hammer and leave the trip mechanism connecting the single line from the crane. Lowering the trip mechanism, both bottoms of the stroke engage the lifting and lever to lift the ram and the crate lift them the track. Trip mechanism ram position upper stroke um, stops the um, finger to the trip of the lever the load rotated with the clockwise under round trip lever payment feeling um, freeing the ram piston the trip the mechanism is held with the under upper position while the hammer is operation. The safety link with the trip mechanism is designed to break and bend the shit operator lower the trip of the mechanism lower engage the lifting lever while the hammer is operation safety link prevents the damaging when the trip me me mechanism or ram the safety link is broken when the hammer is in operation the hammer is continue to operate however the once the hammer is shut down the safety link must be replaced and the hammer can be restarted. All right, your trip mechanism, shove the ram piston DOT1, and then we're going to read the lower trip stop, um, the finger trip lever, the upper trip stop. All right, the furnished contractor D218, the spring safety pivot pin, D1262, 163, 161A, safety pin, D1612, lifting lock, D167A, D1610, safety link, D166. D two sixteen nine trip lever D sixteen eight two sixteen eleven D C T sixteen four D two sixteen two trip lever and cushion. All right. Note the number of safety links have of the hand with it depends on the span of the crane opera. Have with the rule of thumb, you should at least have ten safety five to ten safety links from the toolbox position uh, on the job site. Fuel system D's and core. Fuel system diesel curry kerosene fuel with gravity main fuel tank for the filter carriage uh, cartridge uh, in line shut off off the down the inlet of the Baham cam actuated fuel pump located at the lower end of the cylinder inject the fuel um, directly into the combustion chamber and the anvil the hammer usually continues to consume about 0.9 gallons fuel per fuel per hour operation capacity of the tank of the nine gallons of lubrication system oil drain the feed with the gravity lubrication tank 1263 wire measure falter and shut off the valve down inlet valve the reverser pump base pipe plate from the reverser oil feeds through the passages to the pump All right, lubrication system, starting with the lubricating oil tank, fill cartridge, filler cap, shut off valve, lubricating pump, adjusting screw, pin plug, check valve body, piston, one-piece plunger, pump check, pump check valve, gasket, pump reservoir, terminal check valve, terminal housing, ho valve housing, oil terminal pipe plug, lubrication system for miles D to E20, D E30, and D E40. All right, um, your buffer bowl, um, number number two, one southeast of the number two waste, um, uh, two seats of water, two washers, number two, one set of the two washers, buffer bowl, um, 12 sets of washer, of three washers, 12 sets of three washers, full of um, free length of seven, seven three quarters of an inch. A plunger weighted piston rests on the plunger with a um, jar with a hammer with the operation force piston plunger down with them um, drops the drive to the small amount with the oil pass with the ball check valve within the feed line with the two feed lines have terminal check for the hold back of the high pressure combustion chamber. Small pipe plug provided with each of the terminal observe the flow of the oil. Fill the reservoir high temperature detergent number to thirty or number to forty Vicosity diesel engine lubricating oil flash point four hundred twenty five to four hundred fifty cylinder cylinder stress valve with, um stress relief with weld weld made, made with a steep tube and then plate with a bore with a specifically chrome plated preventing season galling rapid wear shape of the shell forms and fuel oil tank as well as protection fuel oil pumps line with the trip mechanism to cover the plates in front and back provide easy access for the components for safety transportation rigging and the hammer ram position locked in place for the traveling plug found midway on the front of the hammer. The 
the plug should be removed with the hammer. The bridge is ready for the operation should be replaced when the horizontal remove of the lead for the of the uh, lead horizontal ram position chrome steel forging eight compression rings shows the uh, 1265 maximum ram position maximum stroke safety catch. Base assembly anvil block on the base assembly group is held in position. Buffer bolts with compression rings identical with those of the ram piston. Twelve sixty four radial thrust inside thrust hammer to transmit over the leads uh, through the thrust bearing. The vibration damper to conceal the shroud. Isolate with the cylinder shock vibration over the anvil buffer. The ram bolt bolt bumpers to absorb the breaks that recoil. Bevelville washer buffer springs connect with the anvil buffer bolts dampering over travel over travel the holding the hammer together pins locking both um buffer compression nuts in the buffer bolts held in the um captivity the buffer housing. Cap the buffer nut and the bum bumpers absorb the recoil of the bevel springs. Uh, your ram position o over strike. The length of the free travel, the maximum stroke with the ram bottom of the, the stroke safety catch lip at the top of the 109 inches, figure 1265. When the ramp is recoiled high enough, the ram and the rings engage the safety catch lip with the ram from going out in the top upward from the ram to too great when the ramp will be lifted off of the pile possible, causing the ring shear of the prevent danger with a um, watch the projection with the ram above the hammer reset with the throttle when necessary. All right, pile driving cap. The pile driving cap is um, black, usually with a teal block. The rest of the bolt and the head with the bolt pile with the protection against the damage. Receiving the transmitting with the blow of the hammer, the ram, and the end of the seam of the mag hammer, the cap of the part with the hammer, the cap of the drop of the diesel hammer, and separate with the casting within that lower part. Recessed to fit the head of the, of the pile, upper part recessed to contain the hard cushioning block with the receiver of the blows, hammer of the cap, the receiver of the wire with the rope of the sling. So if the cap is well with the hammer, may raise at the top of the leads when poising, positioning the pile into the leads. And the detail. 10 hammer, you may have the one cushion in black with the drive cap, less uh, lash cap on the hammer front. Figure 1266 show the H beam pile driving cap, the black seal cap, the ring, and the seal beam. Back with the two pieces of the 12 one half inch wire clip for the must, um, you must allow three and a quarter inches slack of the wire rope. The cap is normally lashed for the hammer after the the hammer is placed on the leads. No, the top of the cushion block should be high enough to prevent the hammer from should be falling off the driving pack cap pocket. Pile driving caps are available. The driving timbers, concrete sheets, um, high beam, H beam piles are shown. In the pile cap um, designed with driving an H beam pile. Are right, placing the hammer leads. Placing the driver hammer leads is performed two ways. With the leads are horizontal, vertical leads are not always pile driving operation. Pile hammers are can be used with a flying hammer to use special adapters. Can be attached for the hammer. Figure twelve sixty one. There is far more more most danger with the type of the pile driving operation should be attempted by experienced only experienced personnel. Figure twelve twenty six um, twelve sixty seven shows pile driving using flying hammer in one and two. All right, the um, four steps, the steps required for the installing the hammer and the lead the horizontal position and file with the lock the leads at 18 inches off the ground. Several places to keep them as level as possible. To use the floor plates, play with the hammer at base of the lead, the top of the hammer toward the plate, um, top of the leads. No, only underhung leads that are full pores, um, pop, pop faces, ox stand four ways, leads fuel pump with the face downwards. A for the for, um, forklift to uh, approach the hammer with a pile cap end with the adjustable fork so they will just feed with, um, fit the lead with the guide with the hammer. Five, pick up the hammer, pick up the hammer and the hammer guide with the top of the leads as far as it will go without hunting, uh, hitting with the fourth. Block up the hammer with the protrude with the right position on the forklift as a pushing reminder of the hammer and the leads. Note the crane may list as many of the pulling of the hammers into the lead seven. Then secure the hammer with the bottom of the leads for it will keep the strain off the leads and if they are raised the vertical position of the crane boom. Install the hammer with the lead of the vertical position as follows. Raise the boom, leave with the horizontal vertical install of the cap while continue to raise the boom and this high practical safety permits. Hoist the hammer in the vertical position, position until the leads under the leads and take the combination of the lower boom and the position of the hammer to the side of the hammer of the lead guides. If this does not allow the crane to install the hammer vertically, use the following. Use the deep ditch, um, deep ditch loading ram with additional channel clearance for the hammer. Set the hammer with the excavated hole to clear the bottom of the leads. Hammer can be partially submerged in water to and you gain additional clearance. All right, pile driving techniques and terminology. Care must be taken during the pile driving to avoid damage of the pile hammer and the bolt for the pile driver must be securely anchored to avoid shifting position hammer shift the while driving and the blow of the hammer will be only off the line, out of line with the axis for the pile both pile and hammer may be damaged. Careful, watch the piles if any of the conditions split, break, or blow over the ground. If the driving suddenly becomes easier and the pile suddenly change the direction and break or split has probably occurred, this which happens, the pile must be pulled. 
or springing and bouncing, springing moving the pile vibrates too much. Um, the laterally the blow of the hammer spring made with the cough of the pile over the cro cro crooked with the pile has not been squared off properly when the pile is not in line with the wall of the hammer. All pile driving operations show the fall of the hammer in line with the pile axis. Otherwise, the head of the pile of the hammer may be damaged much for the injury and with the hammer blow is lost. Extensive bouncing may um may come may come with a hammer which is too light with it. however it usually occurs when the butt of the pile is crushed and broomed when the pile has been obstruction when the pile has been penetrated in solid footing when the double acting hammer is being used the bouncing may result too much steam air pressure from the diesel hammer that the hammer lifts over the upstroke with the ram position the throttle setting with the probably too high back off the throttle control just enough to avoid lifting it if the butt of the timber pile has been crushed or bro um, broomed but more than an, in an inch or so should be cut off the cut back to sound wood before driving operation continues. Our driving bearing piles group. The bearing piles are frequently driving driven as groups and pile groups will support the column footing um, for a building column closely spaced row with beneath the wall. Pun piles must be driven closely spaced group of these piles principles are observed. When piles driven into the sand gravel the deposit of the soil must be compacted to place the amount of the equal volume of the pile. The deposit is quite loose and vibration of the pile driven frequently. Soil compaction of the soil. The um, the surface of the ground between the around of the piles may be subsided, but the shrink of the action may result with the damaged foundation. The rear by sharks and bedroom and the indents from the gravel deposit for the ground and the heavy heave. All right, two, the clays are hard, compressed for the pile, driving um, hence with the volume of the soil equal to the, um, that of the pile, where they usually play from 12 or 12.68 of the ground, will heave between the round of the pile, driving the pile alongside with the previously driven, frequently covered this round with the pile, place with the heaved upward, and where the piles are driven through the clam shred and with the fir firm ben um, bearing beneath, the heavy may be a short contact between the top of the, pile, the top of the tip of the pile and the firm of the stratum. Such um, ca um, causes uh, call the case may be detected with a taking level level reading on the top of the pile previously placed in the pile with the race, but previously with a reed driven from bearing. Soil displaced by the pile may be covered with enough lateral force to move the um, previous pile driven piles out of line. Three, the sequence of the driving piles is, um, groups is shown as the file is driven. Should be progressed, the area is a high resistor, one low resistant toward stream. The downslope of the shoving of the previously driven piles out of place when succeeding piles are given, are given, driven. Other rows or groups should be, um, first, um, the piles derive main support with the fiction inner row of the driving um, first with the piles are supported from the main pile. <laughs> In bearing. All right. The direction of moving the displaced soil. The, this um, the forces action pile previously driven and lifting managed dram damaging the machine them. Our right, twelve sixty eight show the displacement of clay soil called the driving solid piles. Um, obstruction and refusal. The con um, condition reached with the pile driving rate um, driven by a hammer that is one inch penetration below the zero of the penetration per blow when it's with the point of the pile reach of the impermeable bottom of the such as rock when the effective energy of hammer is no longer sufficient cover the penetration hammer is light vertical vertical velocity impact too light too little under the circumstances piles must see for the penetration reach with the side so desired depth known as refusal further driving as a refusal likely to break and split the pile shown in figure 1269 when the pile is driven the depth of the deep of the penetration prevented with the by friction a pile has been driven in refusal a pile support with the skin friction um, friction alone is called the friction pile and pile support of the bedrock Figure 1269 shows the pile damage caused by overdriving timber. Show this one, this one, this one, and that one. An extra dense layer of the soil tip is called the end bearing um, pile with a pile supported with a um, partially skim of friction, partially so abstaining the extra dense soil with the tip called the combination end bearing unit friction pile. It's not always necessary to drive the friction pile with the refusal, such as piles need with the driven out of the depth of the friction develop with the required load bearing capacity. Or right, straightening and aligning piles. Piles should be straightened without misalignment. I mean, notice that during the pile driving, the accuracy alignment should be sought with the finished job. It depends on the various actors of the pile. Must more than a few inches out of the plumb line. After it should be made to true, true it up. The greater penetration along the wrong alignment, the harder it is to get the pile back into the plumb. One method of alignment is you have to pull, um, pull the block on the tackle, figure 12-7, the impact of the hammer, the jarring the pile back into the line, the straightening the seal of the bearing pad, um, must be included the twisting of the individual piles and bearing in the webs and piles parallels to the center line with the bent. Figure 12-7, each of the retangle using the block, um, straighten piles to the winch to fix the dead pile, and pile position before straightening pile cap leads hammer. Another method of aligning is you call it using using a jet or twelve seventy one either along with the joint um, jointly block and tackle method. All piles have been um, 
Been driven they may be pulled with the proper space alignment of the both tackle and aligning frame shown in figure 1272 and 1273. Our pulling files. The pile that has been obstruction that has been driven in the wrong place has been split or broken. Um, 1271 shows repiling the jet. Um, leads hammer to tackle. Pile, jet pile driving. Pile straight in position. Pile before straightening tackle. Leads hammer. Jet removes the soil and relieves the pressure in the area. Um, pile moves vertical and um, position under driven after jetting. 1272 shows aligning the frame with using the timber um, bent. Um, show the frame aligning the piles, timber pile, frame, and double wedge frame tightened together in piles position for two thread hold um, rod to be pulled together. R1273 aligning capping steel pen, um, pen um, steel pile bent. So jack pulled pile together. Z clamp jack pulled shred the pile, straighten frame, steel, steel pile, tackle attached to the twisting pile. I'm just wondering how many more pages this is. All right, we got 230, 253. We can do this. All right, driving that it is refute uh, salvage the sheet piles of frequent salvage sheet with the re for reuse extract with the pull with the pulling should be done with as soon as possible from the driving the longer pile stay the soil with the more compact soil become the greater with the resistance of pulling of the methods pulling the piles of those files and direct lift method of the cram pails and pails the pulls the lead with the pile with the hoist line with the bridge of the pile through the eave of the wire rope bringing the increase of the pull with the gradually attached to the pile lateral blow with the skull cracker Heavy steel ball swing um, on the crack line, crank, crank, crane line of the demolition wall to demolition the walls. View limits below on the butt and butt head of the pile driving hammer are given the breaking of friction, skin friction of the crane that unpulled the increase of the pile still refuses to extract and may be loosened in jetting air or extractors beam pullers. Three, um, two, five thousand pound pneumatic steam hammer that may be with an inverted position pump pile with the hammer is turned over the wire rope, breaking the tabs with the pile and then do it in the pile distracted. Pneumatic extractors may also be with the crane line holding with the hammer the extracted hoist at the top of the upward blows of the hammer ram of the slinging but pull plus the pull of the crane hoist and usually enough to pull the pile. Three tidal lift the use um often you have the pole drive that driven the tide water and tide water the rigid war warp around the water piles is attached from the barges platoon platoons, low tide rising tide um poles and piles lifting in the barges or platoons. All right, type of the piles. Um, principal use of the pile with the supporting bridge of the building, the wharfs, docks, and other structure of the temporary construction of the pile strands for the load and underloading bearing strain to either with the following the friction along the embedded length of the pile to the bearing, point of bearing plus the bearing of the tapper pile with the pile must be classified uh, roughly as friction and bearing according to the main manner in which they develop support. Load must be ca carried ultimately by the soil layers around it below the points of the pile with the calculated knowledge of the compressible of the layers in the uppermost point. Some of the common terms used for the piles are as follows. Piles are located along or as allied. Load bearing ma member made with the timber steel with concrete combination of these materials used for the force into the, uh, force into the ground transfer the loading unloading soil with the rock layers when force um, surface of the soils on um, proposed site with the two weak or compressible provided enough support. Your pile foundation. Pile foundation is a group of the piles support with the superstructure number of the piles distributed with the large area to support the man foundation. Three, the bearing piles. Piles that are driven vertically, you have the direct support of the vertical load of the calling bearing pile of the piling piles transfer the load from the soft soil with the underlying firm stratum. This also distributed loads from the relatively soft soil with the not capable of supporting concentrated loads. End bearing plate. The typical end bearing piles are driven with very soft and such loose silt, silt, silt bearing the stratum under my underlaying with the compressible strata. Remember this um, factor with determine the load of the piles can be supported safely. Our friction plates when the pile is driven into the soil with a fairly inconsistent with the, the tip is not unseated with the hard layer with the load carrying capacity of the pile is developing the skin friction and the load is transferred with the unjoining soil with the friction but between the soil with the surrounding soil the load is transferred downward laterally to the soil. Combination and bearing and friction piles may piles many piles are carried loads in combination of friction and bearing. For example, the pile may pass through a uh, f um, fairly soft that provides friction over resistance with a form layer the form form layer that develops the load carrying capacity both bearing and friction or the rather than short length embedment twelve seventy four. Soft seventy shorts are of the type of um of bearing plates you have the end bearing plane, soft soil rock friction pile with a um deep homogeneous soil, soft soil dense soil. 
or a battery power. The battery power is driven at an angle where the vertical call with the battery power of the resist, re, resist lateral and incline loads with a such load that are huge when the foundation material um, immediately bending for the structure and fall of the resist lateral move of the vertical piles. Also made with the, um, used if the piles are driven into the compressible soil to spread the vertical load with the large and air there then by reducing fall and final statement they may be used alone batteries in opposite direction with the vertical piles. Another pile, anchor, the anchor pile, the anchor pile may be used with the sand anchor and bulkheads retaining walls guide wires and resist tension and upload lifts. Dolphin piles shown in figure 1275. Dolphin piles are group on piles driven closely together with water to get it tight together with a group of the wheel with sand lateral force such as both and floating objects. Fender piles are shown in 1275. Fenders are piles are driven in the form. Front structure and protected from damage. Front foot piles shown in figure 1275. Foot piles are lower end of the driving pile with a smaller end. Hard 12, 12, 12, guide, guide piles. Piles used for the guide, the driving other piles serving as support as a whale or sheet, sheet, sheet piling. On pile bent, two or more piles div driven in a row to transverse the long dimension of the structural and fastened together with a ca and capping and sometimes bracing pile foundation. A pile, group of piles used to support the column pier, row of piles under a wall, and number of piles distributed over the large area to support a mat foundation. Fifteen a pile group group known um, pile driven that is close together form a pile foundation test piles pile driven to determine the recondition um, driving condition permanent probable required lengths one of which for loading test may also be able to find so the settlement per um, property for the carry of the capacity for the soil and guided and design power. Foundations. 17. Timber line piles. Common timber piles are used to straight tree trunks and cut over the above ground swell, swell and trim the branches of the branch to remove the good timber pile with the following characteristics. It's free of sharp bends, large loose knots, and splits decay. It has straight lines centered over the butts and tip and lids with the, um, lies with the body of the pile as uniform taper with the butt tip. Figure 1275 shows the typical use of the piles driven in the waterfront. The anchor piles are sheet piles, bearing piles, fender piles, um, Piles um, cause clusters and or dolphin. Eighteen treated timber pile with a treated timber a timber pile impregnated with the preserved materials um, retarded the prevention of deterioration due to orgasm organisms. Warning: When you are working with a treaded pile with a protective clothing such as the long sleeve with a safety goggle with a baby warm protective preservative with the tread pile with irrigate the excise eye and skin. Concrete piles. The type of the concrete piles are precast with the cast in place for the um, factors contributing with the, the to their availability of materials where the concrete is made. Precast concrete and piles are steel and forced section squared to the octagonal shape except for the knee over the tip. Varying length of up to 56 foot. Um, they are bulk over the greater weight of the greater length of general not feasible that require time for setting, curing, and storing space of the police. Con recast concrete piles frequently driven with the aid of the water shedding. So 1276 was forced through the out of the pile, out of the pile tip through the jetting pile with construction within these piles where the pile was driven. Or 1276 of the water jetting, water jetting the precast concrete pile. Um, show the flow of the water, the precast concrete pile, the sand, the soil wash upward, the flow of water through the water pipe. Um, cast in place concrete piles may be with the condition favorable. They are made with the pouring concrete and tapered hole with a cylindrical pair with the driven with the ground into the hole ground with the driven mandrel has withdrawn. Left in place from, formed by steel heavy enough for the driven without a mandrel or maybe steel formed the driving with a mandrel to remove the completion of the driving figure 1277. Composite piles, composite piles are formed with one material low, lower S section, another material upper section, 1278. Composition piles struck with wood, concrete, is used to support the 20 30 tons. Composite pile is constructed with steel and concrete, used with the support loads up to 50 tons, shown in figure 1278. The first section, wood, steel, driven first. Mandrel and steel casing, the driven in the top of the first section, the mandrel is removed, the casing is formed, filled with concrete. 21, your sheet piles. Sheet piles are a special shape of the interlocking pile with made with the steel and wood or form concrete. You the form a continuous wall resisting horizontal pressure resulting in the earth or water loads. Our procedure for placing casting concrete piles. Um, the casing, the casing, the casing, the mandrel, the concrete casing, mandrel driven into the ground, mandrel removed, the ca um, casing filled with concrete, concrete, um, pleated pile with the casing removed. Procedure for placing the sheet type casting in um, place with the concrete piles. The mandrel shell, the shell, the uh, concrete shell. 1278 show the composition pile of wood section casing, mandrel casing, concrete, water, soil. 1279 type of the sheeting, um, steel, um, steel sheeting pile. Straight and wood, uh, straight, standard straight web steel shape place, standard straight L, uh, shell arc steel pile, and standard deep arc steel shell, shell, shell sheet pile. 
The most common type of the cheap piles are straight web and then shell arc and deep arc, which over your 1279 webs are section with a design for maximum flexibility tangents and stentile straight, particular adapt, uh, adapted to salary or can coffer, dam, and retaining wall construction shell arc or deep arc sections. Multiple purpose sections have some resistance for bending. All right, shelf 13 rigging. <laughs> 